If you want to learn about deep water culture, then this Debaco University video is for you. All right, let's get into deep water culture, abbreviated DWC for cannabis production. So the basics of deep water culture are the fact that it does not use a growing medium or substrate, but instead plants roots are held in a special pot or container. We see that right over on this side over here with a five gallon pail system and some of the components that's required. Uh, on this other side, we see kind of it represented in a cannabis grow. Uh, in what this system entails is that the roots are essentially immersed in a pool of aerated, nutrient-rich water, which allow for easy access to oxygen and nutrients for the plant. Now, the attractiveness of this system is that it can be automated. So there's no need, and there's also no need to worry about over or under watering the plants. The system can easily be automated once initially set up. However, this may not be the best option for new growers due to the lack of buffering ability of the water solution. So growers have little room for error. It's great when it looks like this, and this is definitely possible, but if there is potential for pH swings that aren't monitored or a new grower isn't attentive to those, this can cause the entire plant to die in a relative short period of time. Now the basic setup to this is that there's a reservoir, a DWC net pots, uh, which kind of will support that substrate, water soluble nutrient, and then an air pump as well. And they're typically sold as kits as we can see here. Now the water nutrient reservoir, the reservoir contains a water soluble nutrient solution uh, that the plant's roots grow in. We see that right here. To help avoid potential um, algal growth, uh, the container should be light tight, but not necessarily airtight, meaning we don't want to have light getting in here, but we don't necessarily want it completely solidly sealed. We do potentially want some exchange of air. Some systems are sized for one plant, others are sized to hold multiple plants. Since all plants will be in the same solution, it is advised to only grow the same type of plant at the same stage in the same reservoir. If you're growing one in flower, one in veg, one in propagation, that could cause some potential nutrient imbalances or really reduce your overall efficiency of plant production. Now, if we're looking at the DWC or net pots, these uh, have a wide or large mesh to allow support of the root system, but still provide plenty of room for the roots to expand. There's nothing special, so they can be homemade, but are often store-bought to allow for standardization, as we can see right here below me. And there's an example of some homemade ones. Some growers may choose to fill these with some inert medium, but this is often not required, unless plants are initially placed in these containers when they're very small. Here we see some growing pebbles used, sometimes rock wool is used, but you can, as long as the plants are a little bit older, just basically put them right in the pot with no need for any additional substrates. Now, the water-soluble nutrient solution, you wanna follow the recommended rates of nutrients based on the fertilizer company's suggestions because that is a great starting point. Or, when in doubt, favor a little bit less. However, the grower is responsible for regulation of the pH to ensure the nutrient availability for efficient growth. The target pH should be around 5.8, with an acceptable range of 5.5 to 6.5, typically a little bit more acidic than we would in a natural um, soil-based solution. To ensure growers uh, need to have a continual water monitor for pH, but nutrient concentrations and temperature are also environmental factors to monitor as well. pH is very important, but don't only monitor pH. The concentration of those nutrients and the temperature of that nutrient solution are other things growers should be monitoring and keeping a continual eye on. And then some will go through and add an additional air pump. So in general rule, the air pump should apply at least double uh, the liters per hour of the volume of your reservoir. The whole goal here is to keep the nutrient solution moving and also allow fresh oxygen and air to those root systems that will be in growing in those water environment. For example, if you had a 100 liter water tank, you should have a uh, air pump that would supply at least 200 liters per hour. Growers are advised to get backups to ensure a quick change if a pump fails, because that is one of the downfalls of the system, that it is dependent on electricity. So hopefully these little uh, tips and kind of brief overview of the deep water culture gives you a better understanding of how this can be utilized for cannabis production.